Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today I'm going to be doing this beautiful start to finish install. Now this one does come courtesy of Ali Pearl, and they sent over this beautiful kinky straight lace wig. She's nice and full, but not too full. So she's only 180% density, but she honestly gives like 300. So I imagine myself wearing this like pool day, beach day with a nice little bathing suit, giving Vava blah, blah, Boom and all of the vibes. Now even better, this is a closure wig so I will be able to put her on and off super easy no sweat no tears no fuss application is super duper easy you guys can see the focal point and the start of the show is the edges I love 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 the way they came out I'm gonna have all the details of everything I use in the description box including a direct link but without further ado Let's get started on this tutorial on the install and style of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are 10K away from 300K. Giveaway coming soon. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Jumping right into it, this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Everything about her looked so perfect. And this is a close-up of the hairline. We are working with a 22-inch kinky straight lace wig this one is a closure lace wig and it also has the 4c edges which we're going to do and we're going to focus on today now what i did go ahead and tint the lace using a concealer palette from amazon i'll have it linked in the description box now before we get to the install process let's go ahead and just moisturize our edges a little bit with the infamous infamous oil that everyone has been talking about on tiktok i'll have this in the description box as well this is what the wig looks like on and don't worry we're definitely going to make it look a lot more natural it's set as a center part and we're going to maintain that center part it's nice it's full it's definitely a healthy healthy wig this is a close-up of the hairline as well i definitely am going to love it you guys seen what it looked like from the beginning or the intro of the video and it definitely is going to come out super cute and it's going to be a very easy beginner install as well i did show you guys what the hair looks like from the back again nice and full now we did go ahead and bond it down using that red even that is my favorite lately because it is a nice hold and it'll last a good two to three days as long as you don't get the hair too wet now we're going in with the dynamic duo you guys already know this is my favorite this is my jam you guys see how magically one side got super flat and then we did the opposite side and it's super flat as well because this is not my real hair I don't mind going in with many heat passes if this makes you a little uncomfortable do this step like on a mannequin head where you can do the heat passes and not you know worry about getting um, hurt or anything with the heat I did run the hot comb through that hairline, that 4C kinky edges as well, just a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. You guys know typically I prefer to um, cut the lace and then bond the wig down, but with this one I did switch it up and do the reverse, which is I believe more popular than what we see most on social media, and it definitely worked out for me. Now, as much as I love this hairline, we're going to make it look a little bit more realistic. I went in and just tweezed it out significantly. I like the fact that they made it a little bit more full so that for some of us who want the fullness, we have that option. But for some of us that want it a little bit more thin out, we also have that option to do so. And it really isn't that hard. This is one side that's still like natural and then the other side that has been tweezed. And we're going to go ahead and make most, both sides match up perfectly. Now, again, this is also a step that you can do on a wig head and it'll be a lot more easy to see what you're doing and, you know, take your time and manipulate and control, you know, what you're doing. After we did that, I did go ahead and curl the edges. Now, I do want to keep that kinky texture, but I also want to make sure that it's easy to um, swoop because I do want the baby hair to look a lot more defined. I did use edge control from bdacbeauty.com and I just generally applied it to like the root or the base of like the lace and like the top of the swoops and then I went in with an edge brush and just took my time to really swoop it the great thing about you know like baby hair and stuff like that is that you guys if you will notice is like I'm swooping and as I'm swooping if it's a little bit too much hair in you know my swoop I'll kind of send some back and you cannot tell at all that like I'm sending little short pieces of hair back it blends in perfectly with the rest of the hair 
once I got the desired look, I did go in with that concealer palette and just definitely stamp out that parting space as well as the hairline and make sure you blend it out when you do this step. You don't want that product just sitting directly on top. Next up, let's go ahead and straighten out the hair. So this is kinky straight hair and you definitely just can leave it as is. I just wanted to make sure it looked a lot more polished. I did not add any product to the length of the hair at all, but I definitely highly recommend that you add a heat protectant and you can even add like a serum if you like, but the hair definitely has a nice natural high gloss to it so you don't need that at all. If I did not mention, you guys already seen that this is a closure wig, but this is a 5x5 five five closure, which definitely is my favorite type of closure just because this is the one that's going to give you a nice extended parting space. Now that we're done with our babyless um, flat iron, we did kind of silk it out and you may not notice like a huge difference because again, I wanted to keep the texture as is. I just wanted to make sure it looks nice and smooth. And because this one is so full and voluminous, I definitely wanted to um, add a style to it just to make it a little bit more fun. For today's style, we're definitely going to do the cornrows where I just go ahead and um, part out enough hair to form the cornrow without showing any of the tracks. If this was a frontal, you definitely would have a lot more space to work with. But again, I prefer a closure wig, so this was just enough for me. Another option also is that you can make the cornrows a lot more slanted. I went for straight backs and they looked perfect with this look. And here I am going in with the Dynamic Duo once again to make sure that all the areas around the cornrow, including the actual cornrow space, are going to be nice and smooth and flat. And then I just took my time and really made sure the braid was was as neat as I can possibly get it. Luckily, I don't have any nails on right now, so it came out perfect. And with each one, I definitely secured them with a tiny elastic band. These ones are my favorite because they don't pop and they look super perfect. So let me know what you guys think of this look. I absolutely recommend this one. And this is definitely going to be a fun one for vacation. It's nice. It's carefree. And as much hair and as much volume that you get, it definitely is low maintenance. So definitely check it out in this description box. Okay, love bugs. It's two hours past my bedtime, and here I am playing with you guys. But I am done with the look. So, so initially, I just wanted to do bust down, center part, and just make the baby hair the focal point. But then I had some fun and did two braids. Now this part right here is a little bit puffy. I'm gonna go back in and fix that. So don't worry. But I just wanted to have some fun, and I definitely did. This one did come from Ali Pearl, and. Um, she does have the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful edges as the star of the show. You guys already know this is a closure wig and closure wigs are my favorite. So it's definitely an easy beginner friendly install. It's also going to be very easy, easy to maintain. Even if your wig lifts, um, it's going to be super easy to, you know, rebond it down, especially because for me, it's a hack that like once you have that adhesive in there, you've bonded it down one time when you go back in to try to bond it down it's so easy because it's already like tacky if you will so um that second and third and fourth time before you have to wash it again you literally can just easily reapply and you're good to go now this hair would be cute with some little jewels going down and like some jewels inside so maybe i'll add those i love the density on this one and it's super full this is going to be a very 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 great way for me to hold on to for like spring and summer vacation vibes about the pool vibes with a little bathing suit it just gives va va boom and black girl magic and of course we are here for that so with these edges they are versatile in the sense that they come very like tightly curled um so I did go ahead and like tweeze it out and then I used the curling iron to curl them because I did want it to um, like I wanted to give lace. I didn't want it to be too dense. That's why I tweezed it and then I curled it because I still wanted to do baby hair with the definition. So they're a little bit like wispy and like not like slick down and they're not like uniformly curled so i think this is the perfect look for this specific unit and it pairs well with the velo i should say velocity the volume of the hair this is the package that the wig came in of course this is the ali pearl packaging and of course my girls got the packaging wet so this one is a medium-sized cap five 
55 22 inch lace closure and the density is 180 percent density you definitely would think that it was fuller but if you squeeze it together you'll see it's really not that like heavy so even though it looks super full i'm happy it's actually not like 300 density or something crazy because again i want to be able to wear this when the sun is out and like i just feel like it'll be a vibe but i don't want it to be super heavy and like overbearing for the heat if that makes any sense inside we did get a pack of weight caps we did get a melt belt and it does say ali pearl across this is also i believe like a wig band super nice and then of course a nice pair of lashes so we did get some nice gifts with this one be sure to check out this company of course i have a direct link to this wig in the description box also i am on a journey with my hairline i do want to fill it out as much as i possibly can and get it back to like pregnancy days when it gets super full i'm gonna see if i can try to achieve how full my hairline is when i'm pregnant without being pregnant so i am trying to jump on the bandwagon with the my l this is viral all over social media especially tiktok but the black girls and i went ahead and snagged two from amazon so i'll have the link to the seller that sells it on amazon for you guys it smells, it smells like something i've used before and i'm gonna of course use my or take my multivitamins and my hair vitamins and um pair but you will be seeing me use this literally on a daily basis on the hairline also everything else we use in this video are down below as well thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches